Imagine combining the timeless wonder of Jurassic Park with the chilling atmosphere of Alien. Well, today I am walking you through my latest design, a Jurassic Park movie poster, but this time inspired by the iconic look and feel of Alien. If you look at the Alien poster, the egg is the central subject. We are going to take the similar approach here with the amber stone. So let's start filling the background with a darker color to set the mood. First, I will start with the amber stone. So let's place this here. I want to place a mosquito in the center of the amber, so I will use this image here. I have masked out the mosquito, placed it in the center and changed its blend mode to multiply to give it a darker, more integrated look. Next, it's time to add some lights and shadow to the amber stone. First, I will create a curves adjustment layer to increase the brightness, invert the mask and paint on one side to create a light effect. Then I will add another curves adjustment layer, this time reducing the brightness to add shadows to the opposite side. If you look closely at the egg in the alien poster, you will see it's cracked and emits light. We are going to replicate that effect for the Jurassic Park poster. I will use the laser tool to draw a crack like structure on the amber and convert it into a smart object. Then I will apply a color overlay with a light yellow tone to match the effect. Next I will add an outer glow to the cracks. I will use a yellow color, change the blend mode to screen and adjust the opacity to around 80%. To give it a softer appearance, I will increase the size of the glow. This still looks a bit sharp so I will add a Gaussian blur to soften the edges. If you are happy with the effect, you can stop here or you can duplicate the layer, switch off the outer glow, reduce the blur for a sharper look and mask out the unwanted area. Now I will create a new layer above it and paint around the cracks with a soft round brush using yellow color to create a subtle glow. I will change the blend mode to linear dodge and reduce the fill to around 90%. On another new layer, I will use a smoke brush to add smoke around the cracks, changing its blend mode to linear dodge and slightly reducing the fill. Now let's move on to my favorite part, the T-Rex. I'll place the T-Rex image here and recreate the illuminated effect similar to the top of the egg glows in the alien poster. I'll start by creating a mask for the T-Rex layer and use a soft brush to hide the bottom portion of the dinosaur. Next, I'll make some lighting adjustments. I'll create a curves adjustment layer, clip it to the T-Rex layer and slightly reduce the brightness. And using the mask, I'll remove some of the brightness from the top areas. To make the lighting more interesting, I'll use the blend if options. By double clicking on the adjustment layer, I can enter the layer styles. Then I am going to move the white slider toward the darker side to remove the adjustment from the brighter areas. If the transition looks too short, I will hold alt and split the slider for a smoother effect. Now I will repeat the process but this time I will add brightness to the T-Rex. I will create another curves adjustment layer, clip it to the dinosaur layer and increase the brightness. Then I will adjust the blend if settings again to remove the effect from the darker pixel and soften the transition. Next we will add the light reflection from the amber stone on the T-Rex. So I will create a new layer and use orange and yellow to paint some lights. I'll change its blend mode to hot light and reduce the fill around 60%. Once again, I'll use the blend if option to remove the light from the darker areas. I'll hold alt and split the slider for a smoother effect. To finish off, let's add a subtle glow to the T-Rex size. I'll create a new layer, change its blend mode to color dodge and reduce its fill around 80%. For the final touch, I am going to add a paper texture above the background layer and reduce its fill around 40%. And we need to add the title. I'll choose a typeface that reflects a Jurassic Park theme but still complements the alien poster style. I also added an extra line and the credits at the bottom. And our poster is pretty much done. And that's a wrap guys, this is our final Jurassic Park poster with the alien twist. I hope you enjoyed following along with the creative journey. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more design breakdowns. Keep creating, I'll see you with another awesome design tutorial. Until then, signing off here, Arigu. Bye.